What is up everybody? This is Ronnie from Canva. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create animated Facebook covers for your Facebook page. And these covers will look good on both mobile and desktop. So if you're ready, let's jump into Canva. All right, so let's start from the Canva homepage. But before we get any further, before we start designing our Facebook banner or Facebook cover or Facebook header, it doesn't really matter how you call them. I think Facebook calls them covers. Uh, before we start designing our video cover, uh, we need to double check on a few things, okay? Because we do have some document types here in Canva that are Facebook covers or Facebook banners. So let me see if I can type in like Facebook cover. Uh, I kind of want to see the dimensions of the Facebook cover. So what would that be? 820 by 312 pixels. So I kind of want to double check this, um, these dimensions because often the Facebook cover dimension, they change. And so we don't want to design the whole thing and then upload it and then realize, oh, my text is cut off or, oh, it works on desktop, but it doesn't work on mobile, okay? So we had a tutorial recently in the design circle, in Canvas design circle, where we had Sandy, one of our CCCs, helping us design the perfect Facebook cover. So uh, I suggest you go watch this tutorial as well if you are really interested in Facebook covers, uh, but we will be using one of our hacks, actually, to make sure we design the, per the perfect Facebook cover. So what she recommended is that we start by uh, going to Facebook and try to get the information. Let's see, I want to change this Facebook banner here. So this is a page, a fictional page that is not published yet, but it's a page of mine. Uh, and one thing I want to say before we start as well is that uh, video pages, like animated video banners, will only work for pages because groups won't accept uh, the banner to be a video, only an, a still image. So if you do have a Facebook group and you are hoping to get an animated video in there in the cover, it's not gonna work, at least not for now. Um, so that's the first thing. And if I want to change this cover and upload a video, for example, Facebook gives me this message. It needs to be uh, a video between 20 and 90 seconds. So let's keep that in the back of our mind for later and the recommended size is 820 by 462 pixel. Okay, so if I create a design in Canva at these dimensions, export that and upload that into Facebook, there's a good chance my design will be a little bit blurry. So in order to avoid that, we are going to double dimensions in everything we do. But also I don't want to take these dimensions for granted. I want to double check on Google uh, so the Facebook page cover dimensions for 2020, okay? So according to Facebook, your cover photo displays at 820 pixels wide by 312 pixels tall on a computer. So that's what Canva actually recommended us. Uh, but 640 by 360 on a smartphone. And given that most Facebook users are probably going to browse your page from their mobile device, uh, your design should be optimized for mobile. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take both of these dimensions and write them down on a piece of paper. Okay, so I have 820 by 312. And then I have uh, 640 by 360. I'm going to double these dimensions, okay? So for the first one, for the desktop, it's gonna be 1640 by 624. And for mobile, if I multiply by two, it's gonna be 1280 by 720. So now what I'm going to do is to take the largest of these dimensions for both desktop and mobile. And so this will bring me to a document of 1640 wide by 720 uh, large. Okay, so those uh, two measures combined from both the mobile and the desktop experience. So if we remember Sandy's design, and I'm going to bring it here because the credit goes to her. She is really the one that, uh, that taught us this technique. Okay, so the dimension of your document should be 1640 by 720. And then you will have your safe zone for everything mobile and then you will have your safe zone for everything desktop. So the intersection of these two zones, so the, the darker pink uh, rectangle here is 
something that should be safe for both mobile and desktop. So let's close this, let's go back into Canva now that we have our perfect dimensions and create a custom dimension for just that. So 1640 by 720. Right, I have my document created at the right size. So now we know that this is the desktop optimized width for this document, and this should be the mobile optimized uh, height for this document. So all I need to do is to design at the center of this and I should be safe, all right? So one thing I could do, I could uh, upload Sandy's design here. So this is the template that she created. If you don't have access to this, and once again, you can create, you can find this in the design circle. If you go to the design circle, so Canva design circle on Facebook, it's our Facebook group. Once you are a member, you can search the group. I think you type in um, create the perfect Facebook cover or just perfect Facebook cover and you should find Sandy's tutorial. And this is in the comment uh, section of the tutorial. So you can grab it from there. If you don't have that, just remember this uh, dimension right here. 1280 okay 720 is the entire height of my document but 1280 is actually the size of this one safe zone here for mobile so i can simply create a rectangle and i'm just going to if i grab one side of it and start pulling see i'm going to stop at 1280 there 1280 and then 720 should be the entire height of this document whoops like this yep and now all I have to do is to uh, position this at the center. And now everything that is behind this rectangle should be safe for both mobile and uh, desktop. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this for now, uh, add a new page and let's design our Facebook cover. So it was a little bit of a slow uh, beginning, but I believe if we didn't go through this, we would have a design which is maybe not crisp, or maybe not at the right dimension. So I prefer spending this extra bit of time right now and taking all the precautions, taking all the right dimensions and then design and be sure this will work than uh, going through all this back and forth and going back to Canva, back to Facebook, uploading, changing. Uh, no, I don't want to do this and I don't want you to do this either. I want you to design uh, from the beginning with the right dimension. So this is how you do it, okay? So now let's design this animated Facebook banner for our bakery and communicate that we are still in business. So let's just um, grab a couple of elements here. I want to have a large photo uh, with some very tasty, nice breads that would just give uh, my customers a uh, good reason to come visit us and, and grab some bread, okay? So for this, I'm going to start with a grid, okay? I'm going to add a grid and my photo is going to come inside here. So back to photos, I'm going to search for bread. Bread in bakery. I want to see them displayed. So definitely not this because that's not me. Um, kind of want to find some nice breads and show this rustic touch because we are selling rustic bread. See, so all these breads, they look delicious. That's good. The next thing I want to do is to add a text box. So I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, which is the T key on my keyboard. And this should add a text box. And this should say open for business. Let's put a capital B open for business because we want big business. All right, so this is what we have. I'm going to position this center middle and I'm going to change the font straight away. This is not my corporate font. My corporate font is actually a font called Courgette for food lovers. Okay, so this is nice. I have this text now at the middle of my document, looks good. What I should do now is to kind of see how I can add some contrast to this design because I can see my four, the word four here is a little bit on top of this white towel here. And so it could be slightly difficult to read. I want to add more contrast to this. How can I do this? Well. I'm going to select my photo and slightly drag it. So holding my click, slightly move it down and then click on the background here. Oops, sorry, click on the background here and change the white color for a darker color like black. And next, I'm going to reposition this and add some transparency to this layer right here. So I'm gonna go 
and see where that would be too dark. Okay, so I would say around 60. 60 looks good. So now I have this, I have this nice contrast between my photo and my text, but it's not animated. So the promise of this tutorial was, okay, let's create an animated uh, Facebook banner. This is not animated, Ronnie, what are you saying? So let's make this animated. For this, we are going to be using the Canva stickers. Okay, Canva stickers can be found under the Elements tab. If you scroll down, you see stickers. You could just go see all and find the stickers that you want. Unless, like me, you know what you want. I want a sparkle sticker. Okay, so I'm just adding the word sparkle. sparkle. And I don't want anything too shiny, too cartoony like these. Mm, th that wouldn't match like all these colors with uh, my uh, brand identity here, the vibe I'm trying to convey. But these are a little bit more subtle and this could work. So I'm just going to grab these and position one here. Yep, looks good. And I want to kind of balance this visual by having another one on the other side right here. Okay, so let's see if I can find that. Maybe if I type instead of sparkle, but just use line. Yep, so I kind of like this one. Just going to try to keep the same, the same size, okay. And there. Open for business, this looks good. And now that I'm here in the line section, I'm going to find something to kind of come underneath this, kind of like an underlining, something nice that would come under underneath my text. Something like this or this, maybe this is better. So again, finding the right size for this. Okay, this looks about right. Open for business, maybe let's give it a little bit more space and make sure this is centered. Okay, now I will select all of this, I will group this and I will put this to the test. So I'm going to use this, I'm going to copy this actually and paste that on top of my design. Of course, this is not going to stay here, but I want to see. All right, I have some margin here. I could make this way bigger actually. So let's get rid of this layer right here. And this could make, could be bigger. About this size, okay. And I make sure everything is centered. And again, I will copy this and paste it here. Give it some transparency. This is about right, okay. So this is good to me. Uh, I have my first page, okay. So this is open for business. If I look at my, so I can get rid of that now. Uh, yes, if I look at this little um, preview button right here. So this is a preview button. It shows me my video, okay? Uh, and it is about six seconds long, okay? So remember that if you upload a video Facebook cover on your page, it needs to be at least 20 seconds long. So I need to make this longer if we want Facebook to accept it. So the way I'm going to do this is by duplicating this. You can see we doubled the duration of this uh, video, but it's still not enough. So I still need more pages, okay? So 18 seconds, still not enough. I need at least 20 seconds. So I'm going to have four pages here. See, four pages on my document, perfect. So uh, now I believe this is ready to export. So I'm going to download this as a video, make sure I have all my pages, okay? So done, I will download this. All right, my video is downloaded. So let's open it and see if everything's here. Yep, everything seems to be working fine, 22 seconds, so that's good. And now the ultimate proof will be to obviously upload that Facebook cover to my Facebook page, right? So I'm going to upload it here. So upload photo video, perfect, that's what I want. And this is my cover. Okay, so the first step before it's published, still not published, uh, I have an opportunity to reposition. So what I will do is I will slightly bring that up. Okay, so it looks more centered. Okay, as I wish, so perfect. Now I can just publish that, publish, and there we go. So we have our Facebook video cover uploaded to our Facebook page. 
So that's pretty good. So the last thing I need to do is to show you guys how it looks on mobile. So you can see this banner works perfectly. It's well aligned both on desktop and on mobile. Thanks to the different rules that I followed here on this tutorial and the dimension that I researched before I start creating my design, you can see that it is also a very crisp. Uh, so it's not blurry because I doubled the dimensions. So if I go back to uh, Canva right here in my document, you can see I also have my four pages. So I have my 20 second minimum of video. So that's it for me and for this tutorial, guys. I hope you learned something useful with me today. I would love to see your Facebook covers. So if you create one, please post it in the comment section of this post. Uh, I would happily have a look and uh, maybe give you a feedback on your design. If you are watching this on YouTube and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to our channel because we have regular tutorials like this one, plus a whole other bunch of other cool videos about Canva. So just uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you receive all the notifications as well. And that's it for this week. I will see you in the next video.